Rudra asks a question that he has a friend who believes in one supernatural power, but he says that if Islam is right, why doesn't Allah come down and say that I am God, so everyone will believe? There's a verse in the Quran. If Allah wanted, He could have made all human beings as believers. As Mu'min, very easy for Him. For Him to make everyone Muslim is very easy. Kun fa kun. But this is a test we are undergoing. The Quran says in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah zi khalaq al mawata wal hayata. It is Allah who has given death and life, who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. So this is the test for the hereafter. The human beings are the best of creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have a free will. Either we can go against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or we can obey Him. Those who obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and submit the will according to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are called as Muslims. Those who go against Him and disobey Him, they are called as Kafirs, unbelievers. For example, if in an examination test, the students are given examination. So one of the students says, Why is the teacher testing us? Why doesn't she come and show us all the answers and everyone will write the right answer? If the teacher comes and dictates the answer, so where is the question of the test? So teacher before the test taught you many things. Told you. It is you who have to remember them and ask questions that time. Same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed the Quran. And has given you signs. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fusila, chapter number 41, verse number 53. Sanurihim ayati nafil afakhi wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyan unnawlaq. That soon we shall show them our signs in the furthest regions of the horizons and into their souls until it is clear to them that this is the truth. So Allah says He will show the truth in the soul of every human being. Every human being. Now after they come to know the truth, whether they believe or not, is their problem. So teacher, before the examination, she teaches. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. In the examination you read 3 or 5 or 4, that is your problem. So Allah has directly Himself shown you his signs in the horizons through the sun, through the star, through his creation he himself will make it evident he takes a promise that every human being will believe in one God but after that do they agree with the commandments or not that is secondary so this is the test we are undergoing those who submit their will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are called as Muslims they will be rewarded in the next life those who disobey they will be punished hope that answers the question